identifying and knowing your dominant eye can help in various fields. Dominant eye in photography is important when you are taking a photograph by looking through the viewfinder of a camera. Using the dominant eye gives you an accurate preview of the shot. Eye dominance becomes important in certain forms of sports too. If you are right handed and have a dominant right eye, while playing cricket you will need to turn your head enough when batting so your dominant right eye can clearly see the speed and position of the approaching ball. While playing golf too, the proper alignment of putts, shots and drives requires adequate head turn to fully use your dominant right eye to visualize the shot you are about to take. If you are seriously into sports, consider visiting an IK practitioner who specializes in sports vision. Now what is a dominant eye? Well, the dominant eye is the one that provides you slightly better input. In most cases, the two eyes function well as a team and one eye is simply the preferred eye. In some cases, the term dominant eye is used to describe the normally sighted eye in cases of amblyopia and strabismus. There are various tests to find out eye dominance. The first test is called the Miles test. To do this, you need to extend your arms out in front of you and create a triangle shaped opening using your thumbs and forefingers by placing your hands together like this. With both eyes open, look at the distant object such as a photo frame or a wall clock through the opening. Now slowly move your hands closer to your face while maintaining focus on the object ensuring that you are viewing it at all times. The eye that you bring your hands to is your dominant eye. In my case, it is the right eye. Another way of doing this test without moving your hands is to simply close your left eye while the object is inside the triangular opening. If the object stays inside the opening, then your right eye, the one that is open, is your dominant eye. If the object no longer is inside the triangular opening, your left eye is your dominant eye. The next test you can do is the POTA test. The observer extends one arm, then with both eyes open, aligns the thumb with a distant object. The observer then alternately closes his or her eyes or slowly draws the thumb back to the head to determine which eye is viewing the object and that is the dominant eye. The tests I have mentioned till now are efficient sighted techniques to determine your dominant eye. For the interest of my dear students watching this video, I will share three more techniques that can be performed by an eye care practitioner in a clinical setup. One of these techniques is the Dolman method, also known as the hole in the card test. The subject is given a card with a small hole in the middle and is instructed to hold it with both hands. The subject is then supposed to view a distant object through the hole with both eyes open and then is asked to alternately close the eyes or slowly bring back the card towards the head while maintaining focus on the object that was being viewed. This will determine which eye is viewing the object and that will be the dominant eye. The next technique that I am going to share with you is an objective test for ocular dominance called the convergence near point test. The subject fixates on the tip of a pen or pencil that is moved slowly toward the nose until one eye diverges. The eye that diverges is the non-dominant eye. The other technique is the lens fogging technique. The subject is asked to fixate at a distant object with both eyes open and wearing their appropriate refractive correction. A plus 2 or plus 2.50 diopter lens is alternately introduced in front of each eye which naturally blurs the distant object. The subject is then asked to say which eye is the blur more perceivable in. The eye that perceives more blur is the dominant eye. There are also non-sighted dominant eye tests in which the subject keeps both eyes open and visual stimuli are presented to each eye separately with the use of a special optical device. In most cases, Simple sighted eye tests like the ones I described earlier in the video will accurately identify your dominant eye. It is possible to have no eye dominant, yes, but it is uncommon. Dominance is not related to being right or left handed. Someone who is left handed can be right eye dominant. 
I hope this video has been informative and helpful to you. Please do share about the sports you play and any specific queries or challenges that you might have faced in the comment section below. Looking forward to meeting you in the next video. Thank you.